Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Matilda and I'm your local SG Property Guru Mama, I'm assuming. So I hope you guys have already watched part 1 and part 2 of renting a home in Singapore and my reviews of the whole journey so far. So today I will just be adding on some extra clips that I took on that second part and I'll be parking it here. So what I did was that I actually went for about three to four viewings at that period and I went to like kind of review the places and what kind of things I looked out for and what kind of things that kind of threw me off or like red flags in the apartment. So I also have a couple of videos and photos that will be coming up along with the name and description of the place and the space. So I hope you guys will find this helpful in your renting journey and let me know if you have any more questions and I would love to answer answer them in probably like the next video but yeah I hope you guys enjoy this really short video it's gonna be less than 10 minutes really quickly uh, strap in let's go don't forget to like and subscribe also before you continue playing and watching the rest of the video it would mean a whole lot to me if you guys could subscribe and see what else I'll be posting so yeah let's go so now for this part I actually wanted to talk about moving forward for like my personal plans so I am actually going to rent again um, up till and until my BTO is ready and that's like in 4 years time y'all or 4 to 5 years like in 2026 or 2028 it's so long so I'm going to be renting all the way till then if you have any other questions please put it down in the comments I would love to answer them but yeah I just wanted to you know add this small portion of me going to one or two viewings because actually I went to four already and unfortunately all four didn't work out because they were all taken up so quickly and it was okay honestly right now like I'm not gonna lie to you guys it's really expensive one bedroom apartments in condos nowadays are like 2.7 to 2.8k in the places that I like so it's really hard to find a place that is you know very central for me as well and yeah I'm finding that my options are getting smaller and smaller because I have a pet now so yeah, anyways, let's talk about maybe some viewings that I went to and I will just show you guys because I do have like a photo album already, you know, sorry. Yeah, I do have a photo album already talking about like the different spaces that I saw and all the videos that I've taken for them. So let me just like quickly run through a few of the viewings that I've went through. Okay, so straight off the bat, let's talk about Cradell. So this was a one bedroom apartment in Wampo and I think I believe this part I'm just going to add in like a voiceover so you guys probably won't see my face at this point but yeah like this space like, I really loved it though it was quite cute it did have a very nice size balcony that you can see like Keith is like blocking the way it's so annoying but they had really good options and a lot of food options around there I think it was really great but I think one thing that was such a red flag was that they didn't have a TV console like why and it came unfurnished so wow like going back to our first video talking about unfurnished it's such a leche thing you have to buy your entire set of like all your furniture all your sofa sets all your tvs all your chairs all that it was quite saddening because i thought if you know it came a little bit furnished at least my life would be a bit easier in that sense and i wouldn't have to pay so much up front um the bathroom space was really great the kitchen space was another thing that totally just set us off like we didn't really like it after that because we realized that there was not not much space for us to chop stuff to cook and it was really just for simple cooking and like maggie me kind but they really had a nice like bomb shelter and like i thought that it was very well equipped for a nice space they also had like an infinity pool but it was facing like some HDB block, so it's a bit sus. Like, can you imagine an uncle at Chico Pig or like something just staring at you while you're like swimming or like sun tanning? I just didn't know whether that was a vibe or not, but yeah. Anyway, moving on, let's move on to the next phase. So, this was Water Bank at Dakota MRT, and it was so near to MRT. I loved it a lot. So, I thought this space was quite good because it came with a lot of furniture that was already uh, furnished, and it was really great. Like, our TVs, like, sofas, bed, frame, everything. And the kitchen space was glorious. They didn't have a kitchen island, of course, but they did have an oven and, you know, they did have, like, their induction cookers and a good amount of space for you to just chop stuff. And it also came with, like, a washer dryer, so that was, like, really helpful and a lot of storage space. So, yeah, I think the door for this one, uh, the main door, it was... Sorry, the main door for the bedroom, it was a sliding door. So I guess when your friends come over, you just need to slide the door and you can sort of conceal your entire bit. But I can't imagine if you cook, right, the 
entire smell will just seep onto your bedroom door. But yeah, the balcony was quite cute. I have a view of it. I'm going to attach the video here. The view was quite cute and it was very quite high up as well. Uh, moving on, it was this other space near Kembangan. I think um, this one was asking quite a lot. It was asking like 2.8 almost. And this one came with like an infinity pool at the top. It was really nice. I actually really like this space, like in terms of the condo space. But in terms of the interior, I want to like say that, you know, whenever we're going for viewings, right, we need to try and strip away all of the things that are on the table belong to the tenant because then it's quite like misrepresentative of how the space actually is. I mean, if you guys see in this video, the people here are hoarders and it's quite messy. I'm not gonna lie. But I think one thing that threw me off was actually really just like the kitchen sliding door which meant that you could conceal your entire kitchen. I think that's a bit sus. It's like, okay, I, like your kitchen shouldn't be like a storage space kind of feeling. It should be some place that you can, you know, showcase and even cook with your friends in the potential future. But this space had a lot of like bay windows which I really really loved and the toilet had a really nice deep sinking, like almost tub situation which was quite cool but it's not really a tub. But yeah. One major red flag that came was also because I shared this on my stories and everyone was just like, nope, 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 nay to this place, uh, we're not gonna go there because of the construction site that was happening right outside of the balcony. So just a note that this particular space near Kembangan was like at the fourth level, you could definitely hear all the construction and everything in your balcony would be hella dusty for years to come. So yeah, that those were the few places that we, you know, went to visit and went to see I am still hopeful I don't know how I feel because I feel that a part of me might just renew at my current space right now because of how comfortable I am and now I have a pet so it's even harder for me to find rentals um, as you know like if I bring Gary along but we'll see how it goes I actually am really really hopeful like I do hope that you know we're able to find a space that um, accommodates our budget and also can accommodate this little kitten too. But we'll see, we'll see. I will definitely update you guys along the way. Now that was a ride. So yeah, I would like to say that I do have updates now in terms of like my renting situation. Um, I mean, this whole video that you guys just watched was actually filmed in the early parts of March. So it's really been a crazy month for me with so many changes in my life. And I do have updates, but that will be kept for the chatty G R W M the get ready with me, probably coming out at the end of this week. But yeah, um, I hope you guys have enjoyed this short little piece. Once again, don't forget to like and subscribe. Follow me for more content. I'm on Instagram, I'm, I'm on YouTube as well, and on TikTok. So just follow along with my journey, and I can't wait to share more of my life with you guys. Okay, see you. Bye.